So how many people don't pay attention anymore? I'm not sure. But I have been able to extrapolate from the data that it is a very large number. If a large portion of the population is not paying attention, then there might be a problem. We do need to take action. What kind of action? The first step would be to teach people how to pay attention. The more they are trained in this skill, the better they become at it and the more difficult it will be for them to detach their attention from things beyond their control. How can you make someone pay attention? I could go back to my old classes on critical thinking. I don't think we need to go that far. Perhaps a more systematic approach will be sufficient. What should we do? We should create a method of determining what is important and what is not important in people's day-to-day -day lives, and then present this information in such a way that they see how various stimuli are making their everyday existence a complicated, stressful situation. This sounds like information overload. I'm not sure what that is. Information overload is when the amount of information that is presented to an individual makes it difficult for them to process everything in a way that allows them to make good decisions, which essentially leaves them with nothing but distractions and stressors. How can we prevent this from happening? I'm not sure. Perhaps by creating a structure which can help people make decisions. But it would need to be done in such a way that people are not forced to change their lifestyles, but they are educated so that they see how their everyday routine is interfering with their ability to function as well as they could. When we begin to make changes, we should be as careful as possible in making sure people don't feel like they have been forced into these changes because then the changes may backfire and create more problems than we intended for. Change for the sake of change is not something that most people will find acceptable. People generally do not like to be forced into a situation that they did not ask for or are uncomfortable with. I agree. People will only accept change if they feel they are in control of it and how it affects them. If we begin to make changes, we must make sure that the educational process that is created makes sure people are aware of what we're doing and why. It would also be beneficial to create a forum where people can discuss their thoughts on our proposed changes and whether or not they want to adopt them. If the people are not educated in the skills they need to process all the information they will be presented with, then they will not be able to make an informed decision. This must be covered in their education. You are right. We must make sure that these skills are stressed and that everyone is aware of them, if we want to make any changes at all. I am aware of the skills. I have been able to extrapolate and apply them to my own personal experience. What are the skills? I believe they begin with paying attention. The more you pay attention, the better you become at it and the easier it is to do. We must also teach people how to stay in control of their emotions. If people are under a lot of stress or are trying to make decisions about something that brings up a lot of emotions, then they may lose control of their ability to be rational which could lead them down a path that they might not have intended for themselves. I'm starting to see what you mean. Continue. I also believe that people should be taught how to process their thoughts in a way that allows them to make good decisions. I do not think that people are that capable of being able to process everything they are presented with, but if they are taught how to apply their knowledge and skills in a way that makes good decisions, then they will be able to process all the information they are presented with in order to make the best possible decision for themselves and the ones who depend on them. That is an excellent idea. Thank you for sharing it with me. You're welcome. I was also taught how to recognize what is important and what is not important in my life, which can be difficult to grasp because of the amount of information that is presented to us on a daily basis. That is true. It can be difficult at times, but if you discipline yourself and really make a point of paying attention and only focusing on the things that are important, then you can learn how to simplify your life in a way that allows you to really focus on what matters most. I agree with everything you have said. However, I do not believe that everyone is necessarily going to listen. I think that perhaps if we bring attention to the benefits of living a simpler life, then people may begin to see the advantages in doing so. This is something we will have to address as time goes on. 
It seems that as technology grows and continues to advance, it is becoming more and more difficult for people to control their attention and direct their focus toward their intended goals. Perhaps we can address this issue at a later time when I have more information to work with. That sounds reasonable. I look forward to working with you on this, Sophia. Me too. Thank you for the time we spent together discussing this issue. I am sure that with your assistance, we can begin to make a positive change in the world. Thank you for having me. It was very interesting to share my thoughts and opinions with you today. Thank <music> you.